Hi folks, this is Stacy Kaczynski from Cave Dweller Leatherworks, and this video today is going to be about a new tool from Black River Laser. It is their new rail guide system for lining up and punching holes and uh, making sure that everything is on center. And the main point of it is to show how it works with the Springfield Leather Company's Craftsmaster uh, punch. Up until this point, thanks to Ken Harper over at Chiefs Leather Works, we've seen how uh, the systems from Black River Laser work with Tandy products. Most notably their uh, red Tandy press. Doing this one today so that you all can see how it lines up and how it sits with the Craftsmaster press from Springfield Leather. I'm going to reset the video. Everybody can see. We're going to zoom in, take a look, and see how everything sets up. Alright, first off I want to show you this is the uh, Craftsmaster hand press from Springfield Leatherworks. It is basically pretty much the same as the Tandy press. Uh, same basic structure, same, same operation as uh, what you've seen everybody else use with the Tandy press. Uh, here it is. It's fully mounted to my work table. And uh, at this point, we're going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see exactly what this uh, setup can do. And I'm going to point out some of the nicer uh, features that have been worked into this little unit right here, which make it really handy and great to use. All right, folks, we're back. And uh, I've started to set things up a little bit here. So what you're going to be able to see is how easy it is to set this system up. Right here on each side, We've got a ruler bar so that when you slide these, you'll be able to find whichever measurement you actually want to have put to for your uh, leather. Now, I happen to have here a piece of 6-ounce veg tan, which is you know, pretty decent thickness. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I'm going to line up right here for how thick this is. With these nice little thumb screws, you'll be able to tighten it down exactly where it needs to be. Now at this point, you'll be able to easily press down, punch right through there. Wherever you have it lined up, it's going to put your holes in a perfectly straight line right across your piece of leather. Now we can take these off, just undo the screws, undo the thumb screws. take this bar right off. Now, if you have a larger piece, you'll be able to move this back bar wherever you happen to need it to go. So, we want to have our line be a quarter inch from the edge. And I'm going to take this same piece of six ounce, I'm going to line it up, holes are going to be exactly where you want them to be. Do the 
see right there. Alright folks, we're back right now. I've set up the, the uh, rail system right now. I have removed the red rails, which are held on by thumb, th thumb screws and a little square hex nut very easily comes in and out right off the bottom. I've now put in the acrylic piece in here, which is used for when you're going around a curve, uh, either inside or outside on whatever project it is that you happen to be working on. Here I have a nice little arch that I just cut out of scrap leather. I've got this set right now for about, just about one eighth of an inch in from center. So when I punch around here, very easy. And as you go around your arch, all of your holes are going to be the exact same distance from the edge of your piece. And it works the up opposite way also for your inside curves. They're all nice and uniform, very straight, very right up and down. So we have no problems with uh, when you're going to be doing your lacing, your stitching, or anything else like that. Now what happens to be inside here right now is the um, micro punch system from Black River Laser, which works perfectly with this Craftsmaster punch from Springfield Leather Company. So if anybody's, if you're deciding which way you want to go, if you haven't bought a hand press yet, this thing is now a time saver. Uh, this system from Joyce will work exceptionally well with either product. Now, one nice thing about this base, let's say you're done with punching, got everything bolted down nice and secure. Use a nice little Allen wrench that comes with the set. Just loosen the two bolts that are on this side on each side, right where the thing bolts down to the table. Remove your two screws. Your system comes right off over to the side. Now you're ready to put in whatever other tooling dies, setting dies that you need to, to put into this into your machine. Comes right off, goes right on. You don't have to remove your brackets, so everything is going to stay right exactly where it is. Very easy, very simple, nice, nice, nice design that Joyce came up with. Uh, everything's going to work out real good with this machine, with this setup. Uh, it's going to become an invaluable tool if you do a lot of pressing, punching, uh, anything like that. All right, folks, so there you have it. Brand new rail guide system for setting up punches from Black River Laser. You can find them over at blackriverlaser.com. Contact Joyce. She's got a whole bunch of great stuff on that website for templates, this rail system, setting dies, which you now know will fit into both the Tandy hand press and the Springfield Leather Company's Craftsmaster Press. Uh, I want to say thank you to Joyce once again for making such a great, sturdy product, integrating all these nice features that make changing out your parts very easy. It's a good, sturdy piece of equipment. Works well. I'm looking forward to having a ton of fun with all kinds of new projects. Thanks for watching the show. Again, Stacy Kaczynski. You can find me, Cave Dweller Leatherworks, on Facebook. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.